The defense calls Peter Gonzalez. I know I'm not the easiest person in the world to live with. Neither was she. But I loved her. How did you feel when she had part of your speech removed from the final scene? I was mad as hell. Simple as that. But she'd done worse things. Much worse things. We heard previous testimony that you and your wife had had an argument that night in which you allegedly said that Rita Gonzalez would take her final bow that night. Is that true? No. I told her that I was quitting and uh, that I was taking my final bow. Wouldn't quitting have damaged your career? That was the least of my concerns at the time. You can't get into a muck-slinging contest with someone you love every night and stay sane. Did your wife love you? Yes, very much. And I loved her, but uh, I doubt that anyone believed me. A moving performance, Mr. Gonzalez. That was not a performance. Oh, you really are good. You've learned your craft well. What a wonderful disguise for a murder. I loved her. Not the issue, Mr. Gonzalez, not the issue. I have in my hand hospital reports showing that your wife received treatment on three separate occasions for injuries such as lacerations in the gingival surface, assorted hematomas, other lacerations, and even fractured ribs. Would you care to comment on these injuries, or shall I read the police reports? Rita was a very physical person. When we argued, uh, often she'd attack me and I'd throw her off. Really? Strange how she always seemed to get the worst of it, like on the evening of her death. But, but I thought that was a prop knife. I didn't know. You've got to believe me. Why? Because I'm telling the truth. Just a few more questions, Mr. Gonzalez. Where did you buy it? Buy what? The dagger. God help me, I... I'm being framed. Not guilty. So say you all. Peter Gonzalez continued his acting career, performing all over North America and even mounting his own productions.